And I'm fortunate today to have Neha Nanda here, our medical director for infectious disease and antimicrobial stewardship at Keck Medicine of USC. Thank you, Rod. So let's get started, uh, Dr. Nanda. What does an epidemiologist do? A healthcare medical epidemiologist is uh, someone who is responsible for setting up processes, systems, policies in a healthcare organization so you can prevent or eliminate any harm that comes from infectious diseases. And this position will typically work with leaders across the continuum. So you'll have this person working with administrative leaders, with clinical leaders, and with frontline folks. So ultimately the hope is that positions like this somehow introduce a culture or sustain a culture where preventing infections or safety is uppermost in the organization's mind. Talk to me about credibility and how important that is in the role of an epidemiologist um, in terms of doing all that, uh, that is necessary to change behavior and to get people to move in a particular direction that, that, that benefits our patients. I think credibility is something that's very difficult to earn. It takes time. And then you have to sustain it. What's the basis of building credibility, the foundation, is relationships. So a person who's a healthcare medical epidemiologist needs to be a leader, all right, but at the same time, that person needs to be in the front lines. Everybody should see this human being as a peer and a leader. They had discussed the importance of communication and how it's integral to who we are as people. Communication is not easy. And when you're talking about communication in the setting of crisis, that's what we are in. Um, it's even more challenging. Um, because as you recall, information was coming by the hour. What do you count on? What you said an hour ago at 10 a.m. was not true at 1 p.m. So I think communication, like we alluded to earlier, has to come from a place where it's rooted in science. It's by a credible messenger. And we need to have the humility when we are communicating, when we don't know something, acknowledge you don't know it. It's not a sign of weakness. Right. Say it with confidence. I don't know it because we don't know it or maybe I didn't read enough. I'll get back to you. What's been the most challenging part of your job this last year, other than lack of sleep? <laughs> I love the challenge. Let me preface it by saying that. I loved every day of it, as miserable as one felt with the information rolling in. The biggest challenge was the ability to connect the evolving science to policy and to front lines. And I'll build on that, Rod. Next time around, perhaps a pandemic is going to take a few years, but there will be an epidemic, right? A small version of, version of a pandemic. Next time around, we should be prepared that we can connect the dot between these three pillars of science, policy, and clinical work. No, I think that it's well said, Nehan. It has been wonderful visiting with you today. Um, you're such a wealth of knowledge. I think we scratched the surface uh, of everything that, that you do and, and the benefits that you provide for Keck Medicine of USC and our patients. And I'm very indebted to, uh, to your uh, time today. And thank you, Dr. Nanda. Thank you so much, Rod. It's been a true pleasure.